WordPress was originally designed as a content management system for blogging and has evolved over the years into a comprehensive website platform. Let's take a look at how to create a blog post and the options of how to display that post on your website. From your WordPress dashboard, navigate to Posts, Add New. First, we will add a post title. I'm going to call this post Chewy Chocolate Cookies, a post featuring a recipe for baking delicious chocolate cookies. There are three ways to add content to your blog post. You can use the default text editor to write your posts in HTML. You can use the WordPress visual editor, which resembles a standard word processor and offers similar functionality. Or the Site Origin Page Builder interface, which we will be using in this video. If you have not yet installed Page Builder, check out our Site Origin installer video. Now let's go ahead and start adding content to our post. First, we will create two rows, one with two columns and another with a single column. Click the Add Row button to launch the Add New Row dialog. Select the number of columns, the ratio, and the direction of the ratio. For example, if we select two columns and set the ratio to thirds going from left to right, you will see the column on the right is one third the width of the column on the left. For this post, we are going to use even columns. You can also add rows by clicking in an existing row to launch the contextual menu containing add and edit actions. Navigate down to add row and select one column. In the first column, we will add an image using the site origin image widget. Navigate to choose media and select an image from your media library or upload a file from your hard drive. In the second column, we will add some text using the Site Origin Editor widget with step by step directions for baking our cookies. We will continue these steps in the second row, again using the Site Origin Editor widget. Now that our content is all laid out, let's go ahead and save a draft of our post. Next, we will assign categories and tags. Categories are used to group posts written on similar topics. For this post, we will use two categories relevant to chocolate cookies, baking and dessert. As you can see, the categories do not yet exist. So let's go ahead and create them. Clicking the Add New Category button will add the category to the list and automatically set the checkbox to True for this post. Let's go ahead and create the Dessert category as well. Where categories are used to group similar posts, tags are used to describe each individual post in more detail and will assist visitors when looking for posts with specific content. For this post, we will use the tags Cookies and Chocolate. You can create tags individually by typing out the tag name and clicking Add, or multiple tags at the same time using comma separation. To remove a tag, click on the X next to the tag name. The final step in creating our post is to set the post's featured image. A featured image should graphically represent the content of your post. Different themes and plugins will use the featured image in different ways. They are often used in the header of a post, and when displaying post previews in a list, grid view, or post carousel. To choose your featured image, click on the Set Featured Image link. Again, select an image from your media library, or upload one from your hard drive. And that's it. We have added all the content we need for our post. Let's go ahead and publish our post, and then we will view it. You will notice that the Site Origin North theme displays the featured image just above the post title and the categories and tags just after the post content. If you do not wish to publish your post immediately, you can edit the publish date and time on the Edit Post page 
you can set it to a date in the future, and WordPress will publish your post automatically. Navigating to All Posts, you will see a list of all the posts you have created. In this view, you can access the Quick Edit menu of any post. This menu allows you to edit some familiar settings, such as the post title, status, categories and tags, as well as additional settings, such as post privacy, and comments, which allows you to enable or disable visitor comments. Making a post sticky will ignore the post's published date and force that post to appear at the top of all post lists. Finally, we need to decide where we wish to display our posts. To do so, navigate to Settings, Reading. The default WordPress setting is to display your latest posts on the front page, or what is commonly referred to as the home page. Alternatively, you can choose to display your latest posts on a static page that you have already created. For example, a page titled Blog. You will also need to select an alternative page to be used as the front page. Should you choose to use the Site Origin North built-in home page, this setting will happen automatically when you activate the page. You can also set how many posts to display on your chosen posts page and whether to display each post's full text or a summary. Let's save our changes and take a look at our website. As you can see, the front page now displays the site origin built-in homepage with the content I have added, and all our posts are on a separate static page titled Blog.